Wait lang ah, kasi nagalag yung aking computer. Wait lang. Okay, good afternoon. So, ayan, no? Um, we'll be um, discussing or i-continue ko na yung aking um, topics on the Radix conversion. Doon tayo nag-stop. So, there are three cases. And na-discuss lang po natin yung first case. I guess, klaro yung aking slides, no? If you have problem with the slides, um, Pakisabi na lang ngayon, if none, okay, we will con I will continue now with the um, discussion. Yes, um, Rico Ray, my props ba? Okay, I guess wala, no? Kasi baka napindot lang ni Rico Ray. Okay, so the Radix conversion, no? So, Radix conversion, so, ang i-discuss natin is, um, tapos na tayo yung base 10 to base 2, base 4, uh, base 2, the binary, base 8 to the octal, and the base 16 to the hexadecimal. Ngayon, ipopocus natin yung opposite one, wherein si binary, si hexa, Sorry, ah, medyo um, yung aking mouse, ewan ko, ano nangyari dito? Hindi siya nag-connect. Okay, so base 2, the base 8, ay sorry, 16 pala to. Yes, wait na nga, i-coconnect ko muna yung aking mouse. Kasi I'm using my um, the cursor of the laptop, yung connect sa laptop, and medyo pangit siya. Wait lang. Kasi hindi siya nag-connect sa aking um, mouse. Excuse me po, ma'am. Ma'am, yes? wala pong PowerPoint na nakikita, ma'am. Okay, ganito, no? Kasi... Sa akin, meron. So, baka kasi kanina may kaklase po kayo na pindut yung kanyang presentation. Nag-share siya. So, I guess, ang gagawin ninyo, you look for the, yung aking, uh, makikita nyo man yung sa, sa baba, yung mga, or sa side, yung mga tao, no? Yung na, sino yung mga nakakonek. Tapos, meron doon yung sa Lobelia, yung aking profile is, um, nandun yung PowerPoint. And then, i-long press nyo lang yon, And then, lalabas 
long, long press nyo and then lalabas po yung pin para lumabas yun siyang para lumabas yung PowerPoint sa inyong malaking screen. Nagawa na ba? Okay po ma'am. Thank you ma'am. Okay, welcome. Okay, so I guess in it, ayaw niya talaga mag-connect sa aking mouse. Pasensya na talaga because yung mouse hindi nagko-cooperate. Anyway, so ganito no. Um, the cases na, uh, the conversion that I'm going to discuss now is about the, um, the conversion from base 2, base 8, and base 16 going to base 10, which is the decimal number system. Kaya nga tinawag dito, ay sorry. Kaya nga tinawag na, any radix to decimal number, yan. Okay, so ito yung example, no? So, medyo iba yung example ngayon. Dapat kasi magsulat-sulat ako. Since I cannot, uh, I cannot control the cursor of the mouse yung connected sa laptop. Kasi medyo sensitive siya. Unlike sa yung mouse talaga na USB. Kaso lang hindi siya nakakonect ngayon. Okay, so sa base, uh, base no? For example, si base 2, 110. 1, 1, base 2, you need to convert it to base 10. So, ito yung gagawin ninyo. This is only true for the whole number. Ito dito. Only true for the whole number. So, ang gagawin ninyo, you just copy the given and then make a line. Yung nakikita nyo dito, line. Yan po ang gagawin yung make a line. And then, you just copy the value. This, ba, uh, this portion here, is the value. Value po nitong given. Which is the 1, 1, 1, 0. I mean 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And then, you multiply it. Itong nakikita nyo dito sa after the value is the times. And then, itong 2 is the base. So, kung ano yung given, yun din yung, hina yung magiging base nyo sa exponent. So, kung base 2, you multiply it to that base, I mean, kung base 2 siya or given is binary, so multiply mo yung times 2 raised to 0. Or depende kung saan na siya, no? Kung base 8 po ang given, multiply ng 8 raised to 0. Kung base 16 ang given, 16 raised to 0. So, ganun lang. Okay. Saan to kinuha ang exponent? As you can see sa exponent, oh wait, ano nangyari? Wait lang ha. Wait lang, yan. Iiwan ko talaga itong mouse. So sensitive talaga yung mouse. Okay. Ay. Ayan. Ito na gamitin ko. Kasi hindi na ako makasulat. Sorry talaga. So ito no. Ayan. Dito. Ito dito. As you can see, the exponent is from base 0 to base 5. So mag-start po talaga kayo ng 0. Okay. Ang sa taas is the 0 times 2 raised to 0. After that, uh, carry 1. So, sunod niya will be the base. Will be the base 2. Then the base 3, base 4, base 5. For example, meron pang number. So, you can, you can continue. Base 6, base 7, hanggang saan yung value niya. Pero, for example, tatlo lang yung value mo. Tatlo lang yung digit. For example, 1, 1. Ito lang yung given. No? 1, 1, 1, 1. Yan lang given. So, hanggang exponent 2 ka lang. So, 0, 1, 2. So, ganun yun. Kung ilan yung uh, given, yun din yung value na magsastart ka from uh, exponent 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 
Yan. For example, here, hanggang exponent 5 siya. Tapos, convert, uh, change niya na, no? What is the value of 2 raised to 0? The value is 1. 2 raised to 1 is 2. 2 raised to 2 is 4. 2 raised to 3 is 8. 2 raised to 4 is 16. 2 raised to 5 is 32. After that, after you get the value of the like equivalent of 2 raised to something exponent, and then, multiply nyo na po yung, yung nakuha nyo from the value na given. So, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. 0 times 8 is 0. Kasi may 0 tayo, no, sa given. So, 1 times 16 is 16. 1 times 32 is 32. After that, you're going to add this portion. I-add nyo yung yung nagkuha yung value. So, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 16 plus the 32 will give you 55. And your answer for this one is 55 base 10. So, ganun lang po, no? So, you're going to multiply and get their sum. And their sum will be your answer. So, ganun lang po ang gagawin ninyo. Same with the dec uh, decimal exponent system. Ito. 0 0.1101 base 2, kinukukunin nyo yung base 10. So, what will you do? So, ang gagawin natin is 0 0.1101. So, same pa rin, no? gagawa tayo ng mga lines. And then, yung corresponding value, lalagay natin in vertical. So, naka-vertical na siya, no? Ayan. Time, then, lahat yung ita times. Ngayon, saan po, yung, uh, saan po magsa start yung point? Dito po kayo magsa start ng negative 1 na exponent. So, ito po yung dito magsa start sa baba ang point. So, po, negative 1 ang exponent, then negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So, hanggang dyan lang yung value. For example, meron pang value. So, you can start negative 5 negative 6, and so on. So, hanggang saan yung value, okay? I, uh, hindi po kayo magsa-stop for the negative values of the exponent. And then, um, we all know, so, just copy again the value, 1, 0, 1, 1. Then, we have a times here. Saan po kinuha yung 0.5? 0.5 is 2 raised to negative 1. So, kukun, gagamitin nyo po si calculator. Or you can search that in the Google. So, 2 raised to negative 1 will give you 0.5. Okay? 2 raised to negative 2 will give you 0.25. And 2 raised to negative 3 will give you 0.125. And 2 raised to negative 4 will give you 0 0.0625. So, after that, multiply it to be its desired value. So, we have here, no? 1 times 0. 0.625 equals to 0. 0.625. So, automatic si 0. 0 yung answer. Oh, wait na yan. Ngayon, si 1 times 0. 0.25 is 0. 0.25. Then, si... Ba't nung nangira? Ay, na. Wait lang talaga. 1 times 0. 0.5 is 0. 0.5. And then, same pa rin, you're going to add it. So, we have 0. 0.625 plus 0 plus 0. 0.25 plus 0. 0.5 will give you 0. 0.8125. So, your answer is 0. 0.8125 base 10. So, ganyan lang din ang gagawin ninyo. Pag sample ay given is 8. Sample um, 2, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, base 8. Ko convert natin kay base 10. So, same pa rin gagawin nyo dito. Pero, hindi na, po to, hindi na po si times 2 raised to 0 ang multiply Kundi, times 8 raised to 0, times 8 raised to 1, times 8 raised to 2, and so on. Yun. Same lang din sa decimal fraction. 
Pag given is 8, times 8 raised to negative 1, times 8 raised to negative 2, times 8 raised to negative 3, and so on. Pag given naman ang 16, i-convert sa base 10, yun pa rin, times 16 raised to 0, times 16 raised to 1, times 16 raised to t, uh, 2, rather, and so on. Same with the decimal fraction, so times 16 raised to negative 1, times 16 raised to negative 2, and so on. So that is the proper way in getting the, um, pag ang given is base 2, base 8, and base 16, converting it to base 10. Yan. So we're done with the, base, uh, with the case 2. Now we go to the case 3. Ito po ang case 3. Ah, ito na yung pinapa... Ah, ito pala yung ibig sabihin, no? So, mayroon pala akong nakalagay dito. Ayan. So, the given is base 8. So, you start with 8, 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1, 8 raised to 2. Hanggang doon lang man yung value niya. And so, with the decimal fraction, so start with 8 raised to negative 1, 8 raised to negative 2, and 8 raised to negative 3. So, same with 16. Ayan, tinan nyo si 16, no? 16 raised to 0, 16 raised to 1, 16 raised to 2. Same with the decimal fraction of 16. So, start with 16 raised to negative 1, 16 raised to negative 2, and 16 raised to negative 3. Ayan. So, we're done with the second case. Now, we'll go to the last case. Any radix to another radix other than decimal. Ibig sabihin, um, binary, uh, base 2 change to base 8 and base 16. Or base 8 change to base 2 or base 16. Or base 16 change to base 8 and base 6, base 2. It means that in this case 3, wala po tayong makitang given nor hinahanap na base 10. Okay? Si base 3, uh, case 3, walang makitang base 10. Base 10 na given or base 10 na hinahanap. Tapos na? Okay. For example, no? Ang shortcut ko na lang ituro, ah. Kasi, I'm so sorry, nasi, um, sira kasi yung aking mouse. I cannot write. So, dito na lang, uh, highlighter na lang gagamitin ko. Okay. For example, in shortcut na lang, no? This is only true if um, pwede nyo namang gawin yung long cut. So, this is the long cut wherein the base 2 will change to base 10. So, gagamitin mo yung case 2. And then, after that, gagamitin mo yung case 2 Ah, after that, after gamitin yung case 2, gamitin si case 1. So, ganun po yung case 3. Gagamitin si case 2, then gagamitin yung case 1. Pero, you can also use the shortcut way. So, ito yung shortcut. Yan. Okay, what is the given? 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, pag ang given is base 2, at ang hinahanap is base 8, Si base 8 kasi, you need to divide uh, you need to divide the base 2 into 3 uh, into 3. I mean, uh, 3 members siya dapat. For example, so you start counting from the left. Uh, Ika-count mo, ika count mo from the left. For example, 1, 2, 3. So ito ay isang grupo. And 1, 2, 3. Yan is another group. So, nagyan. So, we separate na si 1, 1 and the 1, 1, 1, ah, 1, 1, 0. Okay. After that, this one, yung sa second row, is the, um, dyan, um, the second row is your fixed value. So, in the base 8, it's always 4, 2, 1. Kasi pag base 16, it's 8, 4, 2, 1. May 8 po siya. Kasi si base 16, it's always 4 ang member. Okay? 
and it comprises of the value of a fixed value, 8, 4, 2, 1. Pero, kay base 8, ang fixed value is 4, 2, 1. Okay? Yan po ay fixed value. After that, paano kunin? Okay. So, ang kukunin ninyo is only values that has um, 1. Okay, erase ko muna. Sensya na medyo itong aking mouse. Okay. Yan. Ay na. Wait lang nga. Ay lighter na gamitin ko. Okay. So, ang gagawin ninyo, since ang given is base 2 at ang hinhanap is base 8, you need to add the fixed value which is 4 to 1 na merong value na 1. Ibig sabihin, since ito ay lahat 1, it means that the fixed value, the 4 to 1, will be added. So, we add 4 plus 2 plus the 1 give us 7. However, in the second column, uh, in second group, ito lang po yung my value. I mean my 1. Yung isa ay 0. Okay? So, ito lang po yung i-add natin. Si 4 plus the 2. And this give us 6. And your answer is 67 base 8. Tingnan nyo. They are the same. Kung long katagamitin, kung long katagamitin, is the same with the shortcut one. So, depende na kung gusto nyo ng long cut, gusto nyo ng shortcut. Okay? So, the long cut, you need to use the case 2, then the case 1. The shortcut, you just group it. Depende, pag base 8, at ang given is base 2, you need to group the value into 3 members. So, count from the right, 1, 2, 3, then separate, 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, another one. So, I guess, klaro tayo dito, no? Okay. Another one. Yan. So, ngayon, ang given is base 8 going to base 2. Ito naman, base 8 going to base 2. Pag ang given is base 8, so, Ang gagawin nyo, se-separate nyo yung isa-isang value kasi gagawin natin base 2. So, magiging, yan, nandyan si 1, nandyan si 2, and nandyan si 3. So, that will also be happen when you're going to have a base 16 going to base 2. Pag base 16, meron din kayong, is, ganyan to pa rin ang gagawin nyo. Si separate nyo yung isa-isang value. Tapos, this is um, opposite siya, no? This is the fixed value. Sorry, nasa, nasa taas yung value. So, this is the fixed value. Ayan. Dapat dito yan sa unahan, no? Dapat isusulat yan dito sa second. Sorry, na, na pumunta sa baba. Okay. For example, base 16 ang given. Going to base 2. So, sep uh, you're going to do the same thing. So, separate mo isa-isa. And then, si kasi base 16 siya. So, 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay? Since base 8 po, 4, 2, 1 yan lahat. Okay. Ngayon. Ang tricky this one is, what will you add in the fixed value? For example, here, no? What will you add? Wait. It lang, I will use the red. I know, change. Okay, what will you add here sa 4 to 1 para magiging 3? Yan. The only value that I can add 4 to 1 na magiging 3 is the value 2 and the value 1. Hindi po kasama si 4. Only 2 and 1. So, therefore, nakikita nyo, meron siyang 1, 1, 
sa 2 and 1, walang n 0 sa 4. Kasi hindi kasama si 0. Para maging 3. Wait lang ha. Okay. Next. Kailangan ko ay 2. What will I add from 4 to 1 para maging 2? Di ba? Only 2. That is why si 2 lang po ang may 1. Okay. Next. Kailangan ko ng value na 1. What will I add in a 4 to 1 para maging 1? Siyempre, yung value lang na kay 1. Yan. Okay? So, your answer will be 1010011. Sorry, ah. Kasi I'm, my mouse is not cooperating. O, yan yung answers nyo. And we can found this one na ganyan din yung answers dito. Sa kabila. Okay? That's it. So, ganun lang, no? Wait lang, ha? Tandali lang. Okay, so our next sample here, ayan, we have base 16 going to base 2. Okay, you can do the long cut, pero pwede namin, wait ha, ito talaga ang aking serum. Okay, ay, sorry. Okay. So, anong ginawa ko dito? Sinaparate ko si B, si E, at saka si D. I will not anymore um, discuss the long cut kasi diniscuss ko naman yung case 2 and case 3, no? Yun lang, ang shortcut na lang i-discuss ko. Okay, separate po si B, si E, and D. We all know that B is equivalent to 11... E is equivalent to 14 and D is equivalent to 13. Okay? Ngayon, this is the given. Wait ha, itong, wait lang. Itong 1, dapat nandito po yan siya. Ah, yung line. Sorry no, pumunta dyan. Yan. Wala po yung line dito sa itong dito. Yan. Okay, what will I add in the 8421 para maging, ano yan, D? D is 13. Automatic naman, no? We need 8, we need 4, and we need 1. Because 8 plus 4 plus 1 is 13, therefore, si 2 ay 0 na. Kasi hindi na natin kailangan. Okay? Okay. What will I add in the 8421 para maging letter E or 14? Therefore, uh, we need C8, we need C4, and we need C2. Yan. C1 ay hindi kasama. 
Next, what will I add in H421 para maging letter B or 11? We need 8. We need the 2. And we need the 1. So, 11 po yan. Therefore, your answer will be 1011. 1110 1110. So, yun po. Are they, they are still the same if you're going to use the long cut and so with the shortcut. Okay? Okay, next. Ayan. We're done with the data representation. So, any questions? Yun na no? May binigay na ako nito. So, yung conversion. Ibibigay ko on the Wednesday. Okay? So, you need to do it, your activity on Wednesday, the conversion, and um, the deadline will be next week. So, a week, uh, one week before, I mean, next week on Wednesday. So, just wait on Wednesday. Ang inyong Google, uh, Google, sa Google Classroom, ang inyong activities for the Wednesday. Regarding this one. Okay? Ayan. So, now we're going to discuss the part 2 or the unit 2 of the data of the module 1. So, we're done with the data representation. Ngayon, pupunta na po tayo kay data processing. Okay, what is this data processing? It means, sorry, it means that how does the data process in a computer system. So, i-discuss po natin yun dito. Okay. Data processing is the conversion of raw data. So, data lang yan to meaningful information through a process. So, ibig sabihin, so, syempre, no, for example, ang data is your name, your age, your section, and your school. Those are the different datas. Pero pag i-combine niya, nagiging information na, information na yan because it consists of your name, datas, age, and school. Uh, your name, your age, your sex, uh, your course, and the school. So, yun po ang ibig sabihin ko sa um, data processing. Ayun. It follows where inputs, so your inputs is your raw data, are fed to a process computer system or software to produce an output information and insights. For example, nag-chat po tayo sa messenger. So, yung in-input mo is your data. And then, kina-process po yan ng inyong processors ng, ng cellphone ninyo. Hanggang ilabas po yan sa inyong screen. Your screen sa cellphone is your output. Okay. So, it can be done manually, electra, uh, electronically. So, ito na yung electronically na tayo. Yung dati, manually lang using pen and paper. Um, tapos, makatapos, na-invent po si typewriter, naging mechanically. And then ngayon, na-invent na po si computer. So, it is now electronically. Mas lalo na today, due to pandemic, our class had become online and oh, we already use Wi-Fi, data, um, cell phones, tablets, and laptops, etc. Okay? Yan. So, the activity to convert data into information. So, ibig sabihin si data processing po is an activity that will convert data into information. And, that, and these activities are the capturing data input, manipulating, uh, manipulating data and output, I mean a process rather, and an outputting result which is your output. Your data processing can be classified into two. So men, meron po tayong manual data processing and electronic data processing. So, yun na yung kanina, no? Manual and electronic. Ayan. So, before we go on further in our discussion, meron po tayong tatlong terms na we need to define, such as the data, information, and source document. Okay? 
Si data is a raw facts that do not have much meaning to the user. So it may include numbers, letters, symbols, sound, or images. While information is a meaningful output obtained after processing data. So si information is the um, meaningful data. For example, si data are all the ingredients. Anong ingredients? For example, yung adobong, uh, adobong manok. Ayan. Si adobong manok po is the information. It is a process, uh, I mean, uh, an output process on, by the ingredients like oil, sibolyon, kam, uh, ano pa ba, toyo, suka, o yan. Yung mga, yan yung mga data, the ingredients. Tapos na-process ni, ni, ni pag, yung, yung pagluto is the process, so the process siya, hanggang naging adobong manok. And that's your information. So yung ganun lang po yung... Um, similarity ng data and, and the information, okay? Well, the source document is the paper or document on which data is recorded when it is collected, okay? Yan. So, there are three basic activities. There are three basic activities in the data processing. We have the capturing the input, the input data, um, wherein the data is first recorded on source document, then it captured by keyboard, by the touch screens, the ATMs, and so on. And then it manipulates your data. So the manipulations can be classifying, calculating, sorting, and summarizing. Ayan. After that, it's managing the output result. So, it includes sorting, retrieving, communicating, and reproducing. Okay, in a data processing cycle, so meron tayong data processing cycle or stages under the data repre. Uh, data processing okay so this the this data processing cycle is a series of steps carried out to extract useful information from raw data so kailang kunin ng computer ng gadgets yung mga mga raw data raw data na ini input natin okay and then uh, this cycle is a uh, a uh, Although it is, each step must be taken in order, so the order is cyclic. Bisabihin, after na input, na process at naging output, babalik naman po sa input yan. For example, nag-message nag -message tayo sa Facebook Messenger. So the input is yung in-input po natin na text para papuntang Messenger. Tapos yung nakikita natin is the output. Siyempre, yung output na yun ay makikita ng mga kaklase mo or, or sino pa man yung message mo. And then, mag-reply mag yun sa'yo. Tapos, pag after ng reply, kasi may follow-up ka ng text, so you do na naman the input, then it process, then it output. So that is why the order is cyclic. Kasi, pabalik-balik pa mo. Input, process, output. Input, process, output. Yan. The cycle provides a view on how the data travels and transforms from collection to interpretation and ultimately use in effective business decisions. Ayan. The cycle refers to the sequence of activities involved in data transformation from its raw form to information. Actually, a po to no, raw form. Bisabihin yung raw, like yung Ilaw na manok, raw po yun, raw meat. So, ita transform yun into a cooked meat. Okay, yun. So, it is often referred to as cycle because the output obtained can be stored after processing and may be used in the future as input. For example, may in-encode tayo, automatic naman nasa-save po yung ating ginawa. That is why 
um, this uh, save um, uh, save this save documents. We can also use this in the future as an another input. Kaya nga tinawag daw siyang data processing cycle. Ayan. Okay, these are the stages of data processing cycle. Yan yung po yung mga stages, no? So, we have the input stage. So, under the input stage, we have the data collection, data capture, encoding, data transmission, and data communication. Okay? While on the processing stage, we have performing instructions, transform raw data into information. In the output stage naman, meron tayong decoding and presenting data to user. And the storage device naman, we have the storing data and the retrieving data. So what are the this, uh, ano no tong input, the process, the output, and the storage stage? Ayan. We start with the input stage. Okay? So input stage is the first stage of the cycle. Ayan. This is very crucial since the quality of data inputted will impact heavily on the output. So it is a method of getting instructions and data into computer from the user. So kayo po, tayo po mga user ang naga input ng data sa loob ng ating mga gadgets. Okay? So this stage provides both the baseline from which to measure and a target on what to improve. It is a method of getting instructions and data into computer from the user. Okay. Okay. So in this stage are, so we have the data collecting. After collecting, the data will capture and it will encode and it will transmit. It's either since we're going to use the um, for example, naga message tayo sa ating messenger, so it will transmit using our, our data, uh, mo, uh, data, uh, yung internet data or the Wi-Fi. So and then we're ha we're having our communications. That is data communication. So these are under the inputting stage. Okay, so si data collection. So, yan, di-discuss yan, ano? Si data collections involves getting the data facts. Hindi ko na-highlight, ah, kasi ira, sira, ah, hindi talaga nag-function. Okay, data collection involves getting the data or facts needed for processing from the point of its origin to the computer. After that, it will be captured by, uh, it will, this data will be captured. It is the process of obtaining, so, Gusto na ni obtain ni data uh, ni computer yung data mo so ika-capture niya na. And then this data will be converted into a form readable by the computer. So mag-encode na po siya. Take note na actually si computer ay hindi po nakakaintindi ng mga letters natin. So kino-convert po yan into a machine readable form such as a binary numbers ko convert niya yung 10111 so that is why there is a need for for the computer to encode it to another form um wait lang ah may tawag ako wait lang
Okay, sorry for that. Ah. May um may tinawag lang sa office. Okay, so going back. So yan, no? Ini-encode po ni Beta para maging um para maging readable po ni computer kung ano po yung ibig sabihin. So si encoder po is like uh, if you're going to compare it to a real life. So si encoding po is a process. I mean it's it's like a Uh, translator. So, for example, uh, meron po tayong um, kachat na foreigner na hindi marunong mag-ingles. So, we need to translate it um, read, uh, para maintindihan niya yung sinasabi natin. So, this is the encoding part. Trina-translate po niya yung mga English alphabet or the alphabet version into a binary version. Okay. Data transmission naman is the stage of sending input data to the processor and carrying it across its various components. So, kinukuha pa ni processor yung ginagawa, ginagawa natin. So, tinatransmit niya na sa mga different components ng ating cellphone, laptops, or the gadgets. Data communication is a set of activities that allows data to be sent from one data processing system to another. Ayan. Okay, so we're done with the input stage. Now we go to the processing stage. So the si processing stage, it is where, it is when the data is subjected to various means and methods of manipulation. So siya po yung bale nag-process ng data. Yung parang nagluluto na yung ating mga uh, pagkain it and make it into adobong manok. Yung parang ganyan, okay? So, this is the process maybe made up of multiple threads of execution. Yung katulad, di ba, sa pagluto natin ng manok, adobong manok, kailangan natin igisa, yung simbolyon, yung ahos. So, ganun lang po, no? There are a lot of multiple threads of execution. Okay? This is also a stage where raw data is transformed into a man meaningful information. So, in this stage, anong meron? Performing instructions and transform, trans, transform raw data into information. Yes, Trixie, you raise your hand. Any question? Trixie Faye, may question ba? Ay, wala ma'am na, na... Napindot lang? Napindot lang. Ah, okay, okay. Not it. Okay. So, after the processing, processing mag-output na tayo. So, this output stage is the stage where process information is now transmitted to the user. So, yung nakikita natin sa ating screen, yun na po yung output na ating in-encode. So, tingnan nyo, no? Kadali po yung pag-process ni cellphone. Nag-type tayo, then... Nakikita ka agad natin sa screen yung ating tinatype. Imagine mo, translate sa computer as a cellphone language and then itatransform ka agad into um, uh, readable sa mga user. So, ganong kabilis yung pag-process ni cellphone. Kaya minsan, di ba, if you have experience na may natinatype tayo tapos hindi pa lumalabas, it's because nalalag siya, ang dami pang ginagawa. So, matagal pang lumabas yung ating tinatype. Yun po yung ibig sabihin sa processing. So, sa output, since mag nalalag, nalalag doon sa process, so, matagalan pa, if ma, may papakita, I mean, ma, ma-view sa ating screen. Okay? Ayan. So, in this stage, they are decoding and presenting data to the user. Okay? Ayan, sa storage stage naman, this is the last stage in the data processing cycle where data instruction and information are, are held for future use. It's because um, the data or the information that we have, we store it in the available storage. So later on, makatanungin nyo, what are, ma'am, ma ano ng mga storage, ma'am? So later on pa yun sa hardware part, we're still on the... Um, discussing the process, paano siya nag-process, and then papasok na po tayo sa software, and then on the hardware part. Okay? 
So it allows quick access and retrieval of the process information. And in this stage, storing data and retrieving data are, uh, can be found. In using the definition of the four stages like the input, output, the process, and the storage, we can have the, um, the tagyan, yung pinaka basic definition, ay, sorry, a basic definition ng computer, wherein computer now can be defined as an electronic machine designed to accept and store input data, then it will process them and produces output as results under the direction of a stored program. Ayan, nandyan po si input, nandyan po si process, nandyan po si output, and then, nandiyan po si storage. So, kompleto po dapat yung, yung, store, ah, yung stages na yun to define the computer. Yan. Okay. So, yun po yung mga dif, ah, different stages. And then, from it, we can define now the definition of computer. Ngayon, ah, papasok po tayo sa mga errors na meron sa data processing. Minsan kasi meron tayong misreading errors. Okay? Uh, meron ding transposition errors. So, in transposition, yung tawag daw, uh, the, uh, the result from incorrect arrangement of characters. Okay? Meron din tayong kinatawag na computation errors. These computation errors include the overflow, the truncation, and the rounding errors. So, kayo nang babasa niyan, no? Uh, what is the meaning of this? So that, uh, actually, i-upload ko pala yung... I don't know if na-upload ko, ko na ba itong topic na to, yung topic 2. So, if not, I will upload it and wait for it um, later on. Okay? So, sa... I um, mean, those are the different errors in the data processing. Now we go to the data processing methods. So in the methods, meron tayong manual, mechanical, electronic. Ito na yung manual, pen and paper. Mechanical, ito na yung typewriter. Electronic, ito na yung mga laptops and cell phones. Okay. So that's it. Uh, that's it. So, you no? Know, so, we're done with our module 1. Um, any question po sa module 1? So, we're done with the data representation and also with the data processing. Question. May question ba? I guess none, no? Ah, uh, yes. Benjamin. Mami, ipopost niyo rin po ito sa kwan? Sa, ano ba? YouTube? Sa Google Classroom? Hindi, sa YouTube, Ay, yung, yung video? Pa. Yes. Apo. Kasi... Halita uh, yung... ko sa'yo na, ma'am. <laughs> ah, okay lang. Kasi ganito, no? Uh, this is uh, this is recorded, so automatic po. And ang kaso lang sa Google Meet, I mean, sa Google Drive, matagal yung kanyang pag-render. Ang ibig sabihin ng rendering, yung parang uh, na-record siya, parang ginagawa niya pa. So, minsan, it will take me... Um, Depende sa signal, 2 to 3 days. I mean, 1 to 2 days pala. So, i-download ko siya and then ilalagay sa YouTube para makita nyo. So, yon. So, hantayin ko pa pag matapos na gawin yung video, anong recorded video ng, ni Google para ilagay sa aking Google Drive. Then, i-upload ko na. Okay? And regarding for the PDF file, for the copy, so, ibibigay, ibibigay ko lang later on, no? Ibibigay ko lang yung PDF ngayon. And then, um, ganito, no? since we're done with the module and it is a requirement that every module meron po akong quiz. So, meron po kayong activities and since the activities will be uploaded um, um, by Wednesday, I mean, pwede ko na pala i-upload yung tomorrow if I have time, no? I will upload it tomorrow or later on. 
yung inyong activities and the deadline for that will be on the Wednesday. Yung activity, the conversion one, yung i-convert niyo. And the quiz will be available on the Wednesday. So since the quiz is I guess it's a multiple choice. Sabihin ko lang, no? Multiple choice ata yung quiz. And since it's a multiple choice and it only covers your own module one, so our class on the Wednesday is 1, 2, 3 ba yun? 1, 2, 3 ata, no? So the class is, in the, since it's a 1, 2, 3, so 2 hours, so 2 hours din po yung ating quiz. So, until 2 hours lang po yung ating quiz for the Wednesday. Your quiz is a multiple choice and its coverage will be the module 1. Data representation and data processing site. Uh, data processing of in a computer system. Yon. So, may question pa ba? So, ang gagawin nyo sa Wednesday is, unahin nyo muna ang quiz. After the quiz, you can do now your um, activities because the activity is only until next week but your quiz is good for two hours lang on that the same day, so Wednesday. Two hours lang po yun, ha? And it's a multiple type of exam. Okay. So if no more question, ayan. Uh, can you open your camera for my documentation? Wait lang ha. Okay, please open your camera for my documentation. Okay, one, two, three. Smile. Wait lang, ha? Okay, one, two, three, another one. One, two, three, smile. Okay, guys, thank you for your time. So, see you again thank on you. next Monday. So, thank just wait on the Wednesday for the quiz and your activities, okay? Thank you, stay safe, and God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. 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 Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am.